A couple in Bethel Park now dealing with a devastating loss after an early morning fire destroys their entire house. Thanks for joining us at noon. I'm Erica Moke. We brought this story to you as breaking news all morning long. KDK's Megan Shin has an update from the scene. With the spraying of water and the roar of the fire engines. It's just unbelievable, especially when it's so close and you know the people. The entire street on Pudding Stone Lane in Bethel Park can't help but notice this. I saw flashing lights and I got up to look out and there were police cars in front of my home. Neighbors on the street tell us flames shot out from the back of the house. Well, I know the people that live there and I saw all the flames shooting up through the roof and I just couldn't believe that they had that big of a fire. Neighbors, no neighbors here. All the people in this home made it out safe, husband, wife, and dog included. Fire crews responded fast shortly after 2.30 this morning. First officer was on scene in five minutes. Russ Beeson is the deputy fire chief for Bethel Park. We had been on scene working for about 20 minutes. The crews were starting to get exhausted, looked at the resources in the front yard, realized that we need more, and requested a third alarm. This three alarm fire means more crews on hand for a big fight. The volume of fire in the location, the fire in the back of the house uh, made it difficult to fight. A fire hydrant right in front helped with the effort, but the home is a total loss. Beeson says the roof and all of the floors collapsed. I've been up since you know 238 now and I have, still have to go to work and we'll be here all day still with hot spots I'm sure. Through rising smoke, broken windows and flashing lights, you can still see Christmas decorations. The sign of someone's beloved home burnt from top to bottom. Yeah. You can always replace the items, but you can't replace a life. In Bethel Park, Megan Shin, KDK TV News.